We're gonna blow up the ship. We'll take our chances in the shuttle. Good. We're gonna need coolant for the air support system. Parker! I powered up the shuttle. Have you got those coolant tanks ready? We're doing it. You wanna give us a hand down here? Oh my god. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Hey, 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 Parker? Lambert? Putin has bombed the Ukraine. Lambert? Lambert! That's not what I wanted Parker! to do. Stop talking, Ridley! Or Ripley. And what does that mean for our society? Well, I don't really know. He seems to be posturing, threatening to use nukes. Oh shit. But will he? He must know that if he does, I'm dead. He must know that if he does, he's dead. Just like Ripley. There is practically. Parker, I powered up the shuttle. Have you got those coolant tanks ready? We're doing it. You want to give us a hand down here? Oh my god. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Hey, Lambert is going to kill us! Lambert is going to kill us! Get out of the way! Get out of the way, Lambert! Hey, I can't! Okay, now, shush, Ripley, shush. He must know that... Oh, I need a key card. If he launches, he's dead. There's nowhere on the planet that won't be affected by a nuclear launch. And he's not stupid, he knows this. Even if he's underground, in a bunker, a hundred meters under the ground, two hundred meters under the ground. Lambert? Lambert! Oh, shit. A nuclear strike to the top of his bunker may not immediately kill him. Oh, God. No. But it would ra radiate the surface such that it would take hundreds of years for it to subside enough for him to even get out.
He would spend... the rest of his life in a hole in the ground. That is the reality of a nuclear war. So what could he be thinking? And I just realized I have the super hard mod installed. She's going to be acting a lot more random. So what could he be thinking? Well, probably the same thing everybody thought when he invaded the Crimea. That the West will avoid nuclear conflict at all costs. In that respect, if he believes that, then threatening nuclear war is a viable option. because he'd be secure in the knowledge that when it came down to the final hour the West would pull back and make concessions. This was basically proven to him when he invaded Crimea. And the West did literally nothing. Immediate concessions were made. Very few. Consequences were received. I'm dead.
bitch. Where am I? <laughs> what did you do? Now he's doing it again. He may have thought that he could annex... ...the two, ter the two um, adjoining territorial states. That appeared to be the plan. And what it seemed like the messaging was all about. Oh crap. I've got that bug. But now, he appears to have attacked the entire country en masse, and appears to have um, captured Chernobyl for whatever reason. I think some of the media is messaging that he's done this as a threat. I don't believe so. One of the original reasons Russia let the Ukraine go um, with very little, little fight is because the Chernobyl accident was so expensive. And that long-term maintenance was going to be high. This is locked. Oh, damn it, it's locked. Shut up, Ripley. But now the new sarc sarc sarcophagus has been installed. The expense it has already been spent. It is now turned from a liability to hold to a liability to be allowed in someone else's hands. During a final hour push, Russia, or the Ukraine, could have damaged the sarcophagus.
causing problems for Russia. Is this the right way? Yeah, that is the right way. It would have contaminated. Their entire western flank. Would have contaminated Europe too. But as a desperate spit in the face, Ukrainians would probably not think about that. Not that they thought that to begin with. But it was a risk Russia would have calculated. And deemed it safer if they took over the site themselves. So I think the narrative that he could sabotage Putin or his troops could sabotage the site to make it hard for Europe is a non-issue they would be contaminating their own region as well. Especially Belarus, because I think it's much closer to the Belarusian border. Please work. Thank you. Oh, Christ. Where the hell did that come from? The bigger question is... Is Putin right? Will the West never be drawn into nuclear conflict? Will they avoid it at all costs? Down, 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 down. down.
Oh, if he comes out of there, I'm dead. Because if the only thing that will make the west launch is a launch from the east, that's still a bluff. That entirely reply, re relies upon whether or not Russia and China would launch or Russia or China. Just a moment. Equally, the question has to be asked. So close. Shh, Ripley, shh. But equally, the question has to be asked, how willing is Russia to launch nukes. And if the answer is the same, not at all, then their existence is kind of a me- Come on, bitch. Where'd she go? Oh, that's nice. Oh, perfect. Oh, man. Don't start me at the beginning. Please do not start me at the beginning. You should do it. Thank you. There we go. And I'm not talking uh, solely about preemptive strikes. I'm also talking about last line of defense. Because the minute you're willing... to push the button, you're willing to destroy... You're willing to completely annihilate your civilization. So close. And there's a huge difference between de being defeated by conventional weapons and having every major city irradiated to the point where it cannot be lived in for an extended period of time. Oh no. Oh no. Flashy bitch. I'm actually trying here. This is not me purposely failing. It should do it. Shush, Ripley.
She's way more likely to find me in there. Ah, uh, maybe not. Where does it go? Okay, into the corridor. I can deal with that. If the United States decides... They want to launch, they want to lob conventional missiles at one another from sea-based platforms. That may not instantaneously escalate um, to the release of the nuclear arsenal. In fact, it would likely not. They would likely beat the crap out of one another for a little while first. But at what point would they decide to launch? How badly would they have to lose? I'm trying. It should do it. to get into the main corridor. This is probably a good way because there's a lot of hiding spaces in here. So I'm going to go into this vent is that me, or is that where I'm supposed to go? That's me. I think. No, that's me. And I'm right here. So I'm already there. I need to go back into the, the ladder room and turn right. I'm in the ladder room. Why does it say that I'm here, then? Oh, I'm facing that way. Ah, okay. So, I need to go that way, then. Oh, that's my cue to sit down and shut up. We're also not talking about one individual, either. We're talking about hundreds or even thousands. That would be in the chain of command to launch a missile. Come on, Ripley.
People like to say that the President of the United States can push a button and launch all the nukes, but that's not correct. An order has to be given that filters down through the chain of, chain of command. And while it's not likely, those holding the keys may refuse to use them. Why are you going this... She's going the exact way I need to go. Keep it together. She might be in this large room. There's stuff behind here to hide behind. It also seems that this action isn't well supported by the Russian people or by those in power like the uh, oligarchs or even his ministers. It's a massive disruption to commerce as well as an enormous Hardest mode with a mod that makes it even harder. It should do it. And I haven't played this game in years. It may be possible that this um, activation, this this resistance to his to his orders. And it seems like it's mostly unilateral. And then he put pressure on the, um, the different facets of his government. Oh, that was a cheat. just got in here because she left me alone for a little while. Could I have gotten in here through here? No, I couldn't have. Keep it together. But he doesn't really seem the type to respond to the citizens of his country saying, stop being a dick. The U.S. certainly doesn't. Xenomorphs are female, by the way. Come on, Ripley. Shut up, Ripley. Let's take a risk and get over here.
Where is the switch? There it is. <gasps> the only way that this ends is with him conceding. So close. Or with somebody in his own inner circle assassinating him. Because he seems like he's at the point where his identity is wrapped up in this. <sighs> You're supposed to be afraid of fire! It seems like his whole identity is wrapped up do it. in this, uh, in this action. In reclaiming Russia's former glory in its entirety. Now, if that storyline seems a bit... A bit familiar to you because it was the same storyline for Gul Dukat um, in Deep Space Nine um, when the Dominion started supporting them they were going to take back everything um, that the Cardassians used to hold including Tarak Noor and all the other accoutrements uh, from the series Oh, eat me, you big bitch. Wonderful job of keeping that door oiled. So close. Oh no, she's going to turn around. She's going to turn around. And I'm right goddamn here. Come on, get into the water, get into the water, get into the water. How far down is that? Go on, I'm over there. I'm over there. Keep it together. Shush.
But Trump wrapped up his entire identity in insisting the pandemic wasn't as bad as it actually was. And pretty much stating that it was a plot to discredit him. And I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to go into that tunnel there. Which is going to be a real joy. know how well that turned out for him. Keep it together. Oh, oh. She comes out there. Let's go in here first. Obsessing about this, I think, and being yes manned into actions. The uh, the head of the uh, Russian I was trying to light the flare. Um, the uh, the head of the Russian Cosmodrome, the, their version of NASA. Where am I standing? That's not a good place to stand. Uh, he seems to be a complete sycophant for Putin. But I guess that doesn't really matter. She's seen me. How did she see me? I don't know how she saw me. Move, 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 move. So close. Uh, 
He's obviously not bluffing. the right way, right? Nope, this is the wrong way. Keep it together. Equally, I don't think it's exactly a game of chicken. Very exposed right here. But predominantly, I think he is counting on Western non-action. And for the most part, that's not happening. The West is actually taking action. They're cutting off, cutting uh, Russia off to certain aspects of SWIFT, which is the the um, international banking protocol. Freezing assets. So close. Canceling Nordstrom too. I think Russia thought they were far more needed than they actually are. That they were an inseparable uh, component to modern life. And they still might be. What is this place? This place is a trap. Yeah, this place is a trap. Prior to these more heavy sanctions being levied, Putin promised that it would be considered an act of war But there hasn't really been a considerable response to those sanctions. It also seems like... Come on, Ripley. I can't hear what, what direction she's coming from. Restriction, restriction. This is it. This is it.
I have never had her come into this room before. But she could. Probably banned from this room because of all the noises it makes. I don't think there is a reasonable answer or a reasonable response. You have a lot of commentary commentators on YouTube saying punish the government, not the people. But those kind of things are inseparable. Okay, this is it. It's about to get really loud and really annoying. Why do I feel like she's waiting for me somewhere? You are my lucky star. You are my, my lucky, lucky, lucky. You are my Lucky star. Lucky, lucky, lucky. You are my lucky Where is she? Star. Danger. The emergency you. destruct system is oh. now activated. The lucky. ship will detonate in T minus. Lucky, Three. lucky, lucky. I'm dead. Was that fun?
And uh, she ripped my face off. Wasn't that nice of her? Well, not really sure if I said everything I wanted to in this video. I'm not sure if there's much to be said. To recap, both sides may be equally unwilling to launch their nuclear arsenal, but uh, Russia seems to be uh, way more willing to threaten it. Unless he's crazy, he knows that it's going to end his life. Because to launch the first nuke means you want the world to end. Because let me tell you something about nukes that you may not know. Russia is targeting every single NATO country. And they have enough nuclear weapons in their immediate arsenal to destroy the world something like six times over. But what does that mean? That means there's a lot of nuclear warheads aimed at your particular major city. Not just one. When there's a launch, not just one warhead will hit Washington DC, Ottawa, London, Paris, hundreds of other places. It'll be a lot, all coming down within minutes or seconds of one another, wiping out everything that was there, irradiating it to a degree unimaginable. Hundreds of times worse than Chernobyl. The only real hope we have in the West that, you know, this will stop happening, that Putin will stop advancing, stop being a dick, is if the Russians do something about it. Because nothing the West do does will be effective. He won't care. He will make that part of his hero's journey. So we either have years of living in fear because if he's allowed to annex Ukraine or even the parts of Ukraine that he's that he wants, he's just gonna wait a while and do it again. Then wait a while longer and do it again. He might even have a successor to it. But that question of if the US and Russia start lobbing conventional missiles at one another. At what point do they push the button for the specials? And I don't think anybody can answer that. And yeah, I waited to make my point right here where the alarm was going off and the, and the ship was blowing up. I, I have some flair for the, th for the, for the theatrical. <laughs>